that, like I was, I've discussed this often with people, and it depends on how you define a God you know, when you're talking about theistic. Because if you say it's an anthropomorphic creator type God who judges you, I would say, no, it is not theistic. But I also have to say, I don't know for sure. And I think that if I would say, I know there's some Buddhists who say it's, we're atheists. I don't believe that because how can we know for sure? You know, so if you're putting us into a category, I would say it's agnostic. I don't think God would be someone who looks like me. Right? And then I've looked and looked to see where this quote came, but someplace I heard someone say that, why would I want to be, believe in a God that I could fully understand? God is much more than something I can understand. You know, so this whole concept of God to me is much more than I could fit into my little mind. Right, so I just trust that there is this wisdom and compassion in the universe that embraces all of us. I don't know what it looks like. I can't define it in human terms. But I have found in my life that there's something there. Yeah, you know, like I explained to my Sunday school, Dharma school kids, you know, I'm not even good at math. You know, what makes me think I can understand the entire truth of the uni universe, right? So I have to trust in what I do know. And I do know that I am a human being with incredible weaknesses and frailties. We call this bonno ecclesia, greed, anger, and ignorance. And despite myself, the universe seems to be supporting me. And if I used it just as a mathematical thing, is I put in this much, this is what I get out, it's not equal. I receive so much more than I've given, so that has to come from someplace.